Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are here on Crash Landing. I mean, Forever Stranded. Yes. As you guys know, uh, I have not been playing this particular pack because it's basically a ripoff of Crash Landing. But you guys seem to enjoy this pack. So, um, if you want a full um, tips and tricks guide, uh, I will go and review my <laughs> Crash Landing video and basically recreate it for uh, Forever Stranded because for the for the large majority of stuff it's 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 about the same with with minor differences. Um, there's something I want to talk to you guys today about though. Uh, I see a bunch of people in the videos that of people playing this this thing and they always mistaken about something so. I wanted to fix that for you guys. I wanted to be, make you guys aware for it. So I got two chests here. Um, you will not have access to everything that I'm telling you from the very, very beginning. But you can get these shortly with, within uh, getting the... Um, uh, shortly within the pack, you'll be able to get them. So the first thing I got here is if we hit that and hit this this is how you make firewood all right two blaze powders with lava wood the lava wood is the same recipe you put it in a thing with some lava 250 buckets and it makes lava wood you'll need two of these or one of these you only need one because you don't want the pick part as the firewood any part of the firewood will make it auto smelting all right and the other part that you'll want is the blaze powder, which you can get from sieving dust. All right, five percent chance. All right, so you'll get that from dust, and you can just get dust from the outside world. Just hammer away. Now I do have a diamond hammer here. You want to have access to diamonds from the beginning. You'll have to get a. You'll probably end up having to get a uh, cobble generator first. So just be mindful of that, all right? And uh, so I got two stacks here of iron gravel. All right, I'm gonna dump you. Um, I do have forever day on, so it won't get night time. Also have keep inventory on. If you guys want to know how to do that, just go to land and open land and uh, put cheats on. And then you can add those rules in there if it's not allowed, if it doesn't allow you at the beginning. So what we're gonna do, also spawn in a set of the uh, jellied slime things which you will not have access to at the beginning and so that's it um what you will need for this all right for the first part of this you will need a bone shovel all right with max luck on it all right and i want to show you guys this all right i did a bone shovel now now you can do whatever you want honest with you whatever shovel you want uh, we're going to grab us a hammer here. I do want to show you guys this. Just one diamond hammer. All right, so you, when you get your two diamonds, you should do this. The first the first two diamonds you should get should be to this. All right? And we're also going to get us a shovel. Let me go ahead and hit bone. As long as it is a tinker shovel, that's what we want here. And I want to show you guys this. Now, the, the biggest mistake people make, don't run. That's, that's one of the things. The biggest mistake people make is they think that you need this hammer for the Tinker's modifier. That is not the case. All right? If I'm not mistaken, this hammer is for the hammers. All right? I'm not completely sure about that, but this does work. So if you just take any kind of Tinker shovel, put it in here, and you put... It doesn't have to be a shovel, but you want the shovel because... Shovel dig sand the fastest. This is why you want to do it on a shovel. You can also do it on a pick, but there's really no point in that. Uh, you can you can actually compress cobble and then do the cobble the hammers up here, the double compressed hammers, or the compressed hammers, and, and break that down into gravel. And then you'll just want the shovel for this. But just put shovel in here, put the hammer in here, and that will give it hammering. All right, you look at hammering. Can break apart blocks. All right, it's all you need. All right, put that in there. Take it out. Now it has hammering. 
as you can see, you've used one of the modifier slots and now it has hammering. Now, if I take this outside, I want to show you guys this. All right. Come on. Kind of get a little bit of lag when I try to go in and out the doors. We're going to do the same line here, but with the shovel. There you go. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to waste resources. All you have to do is you can use the bones that you're going to get naturally from the mobs dying. And uh, you're going to be able to repair it straight up. And they start you out with bones. Let me show you guys in here. If we go into here. You start with one mill. So. Come on. Stop doing that. So. That, that's that's what we did here. So we got one with the hammering on it. The second one I put. If we let's go back inside for a second. Put this one in here. It's got auto smelting on it, so I've, I've replaced the binding here with firewood. So all you got to do is make the firewood. You have to get a smeltery first. Now you can't make a smeltery. You have to go out to the cities and find a smeltery. All right. Once you find a smeltery, you can do it. All right. So you have to go find your smeltery in one of the lost cities, kind of like in Crash Landing, and then bring it back. All right. That's how you get the smeltery. Once you get the smeltery, though, you can make the firewood and put it on here. Now there is another way to do uh, auto smelting. If I'm not mistaken, at Tinkers, but it will cost you a modifier. Just be mindful of that. Do they have it in this one? I don't even know if they have it in this one, to be honest with you guys. I haven't made it the other way in a really long time. So it might be the only way to get smelting on here. No, I don't see it. So that might be the only way. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, once you get that, put that on here. And then you want to max out the luck again. You want Fortune 3 on this one for for this little uh, tip. All right. That's where that's where we're at. Once you get to that stage, this is what I'm going to do. All right. So I'm going to lay these out right here. A stack of each. All right. And we're going to do the hammer first. All right. So I'm going to break this down with the hammer. We're just going to jump on top here. No running. I don't need to jump either, so. It'll be all right. We'll spawn some food in if we need it. I got two apples anyway. And that won't last us long. And oh oh no 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 we're gonna have to uh that's too many. Let's take some of this off. It it it, it switched my blocks up here, so I need sixty-four of these back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna take my hammer and we're gonna break this down. And we're gonna break this all the way down to uh dust. And I'm doing it on camera so you guys know I'm not cheating. And uh, this, uh, uh, the regular hammered version is going to go into the spruce chest. There we go. And make sure I've got all of that. None blew away. All right. And now we can go to our ore smasher here and uh, relay this out. I'm gonna go a little bit farther than, than I did before. There we go. <laughs> this is so good, I love this hammer. All right, so that's it. We got one crush left over. 
I'm going to go back to our hammer and hammer this down to the actual dust form. Now, I have showed this method off, and apparently it has not caught on. People just don't like the auto smelting feature. It's one of the best ways to ore double. It, it absolutely is. Especially in packs like this where you can't ore double, it's, uh, it's about the only way at the beginning to ore double. All right, so, so that's that. Now this is the powdered form, so we can put this in here just like this. Now you will get more or less of this, so this is, this is what I usually get right here. We will walk over here. Let's uh, eat our apples here. There we go. And if I put this into a furnace right now, I will get a stack and 16 iron. All right. Plus, I have just a tad bit extra. All right. Now, we're going to do this again, but we're going to use our bone shovel. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one before I use it by accident. So now we're going to use our bone shovel with luck on it. All right. And we're going to break this all the way back down. Just like before. All the way down to the dust form. But we're going to do something special this time around. All right. Now, just using my first trick, all right, this is how much you're going to get. So we'll go ahead and do the first breakdown. <laughs> this this video is going to be a little long and it's hot as crap outside guys i'm doing this around three o'clock in the day but i had to get this video out i'm tired of watching these these videos guys so we're going to put this back down just like this right here just going to lay it back out like we did before And you'll know that you're done because it'll stop laying blocks out. This is there. So we had none left over. All right. And now we're going to shovel this down again. And this will give us our ore sand, our ore dust, like before. Now, normally I would just replace this down with my ore smasher, but I want to show you guys how many you get. So, and you guys can decide whether it's worth it or not. I don't know. It looks like it's about the same. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe. Never know. So we got a little bit more. But, as you can see, I did, I did not go through a whole hammer or a whole shovel here. And it is, it is a little bit more resources-wise. Now, I'm going to place these back out. Alright? So we're going to get a large row here. And I'm hoping he hasn't fixed this. If he has, I'm going to look pretty stupid. So, you can also enchant, I believe, hammers to have luck on them. All right, so now we're switching to our smelting, and we're going to break these with the smelting one. Okay. So we're going to go all the way to the end.
<laughs> now remember we had 64 plus plus 17 which would have gave us 64 plus 17 iron ingots if we put them in us into the uh, uh, Um, furnace. All right. <laughs> now, if even if we or doubled, all right, even if we or doubled, we got more than that. That that's way more than or doubling. <laughs> I don't know how much more, but it is way more than or doubling. So there you go, guys. We did get just a tad bit more with this. It, it is luck based, so you will get a lot more. You'll get sometimes around the same amount, sometimes a little less. But uh, you will save on resources with this. All right. Uh, also, with another note on that same lines. All right. Oh, what did you... I believe Tinkerers has a scythe. All right. Now. I'm going to grab the bone one here. And for simplicity's sake, do they have the ability to make sponge? Hold on. Sponge. Is the recipe for sponge in this pack? Let's hit you, hit R. Um, I'm not seeing a recipe for it. So I'm guessing not. You can get it from ore my uh, resource miner. That is pretty good. So you can get sponge easily. Yeah. Okay. But uh, since since it's really hard to get and that's something not early game, we'll go with the silky silky gem. Now, uh, if we hit enter here and hit this, it's the same old recipe. Need gold. That'll give you the silky gem. You will have to find an emerald. And I didn't need a whole stack of that. And then we put this one in here with the silk jam, and that gives us silk touch on the scythe. And now we will go into here. Grab you guys. I don't need that. I will probably need a piece of dirt if there's not one outside. There should be one outside. Somewhere. No. I'll just grab a piece of dirt real quick. Just for sanity sake we could make dirt if we wanted to but nah. so put this in here get this thing to grow there you go and then that's so many people so many people now you will need the upgraded tool forge for this all right i won't lie to you you will need the upgraded tool forge for this and i will show you the tool forge recipe but you can make this out of bone straight up you will have an excess of bone so it's not something you would bit so if I hit tool station forge 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 right here it's the only recipe for it oh, shit. R dude R and it requires the normal plus the four blocks of iron um, it might take you a while to get to this level, so you won't be able to do this one at the beginning, but you can at least make Silk Touch out of uh, regular. Oh, what are you doing? I know how to do this. Oh, we can use a shovel, right? Yes, it will work, I think. Yes, it did. <laughs> Another use for the shovel. And uh, wood, wood chippings can be uh, used for dirt. If you go into here, use it for paper. But if we go to this tab here, you can eight of them will be dirt. So you can you can pound uh, extra wood down and make dirt that way. Little tip: silk touch. Don't don't use shears. I mean, when you when you when you when you have to use shears, use shears. Once you get your tool forge up which should be what you go for at first so you can make these things easier lot, lots and lots easier um, definitely do this also you can you can you should be able to put the hammering on 
an axe, which will probably give you a little bit more wood chippings. I don't know. You guys can decide on that. Um, I'm going to put you in here. That's my tips and tricks chest. Anyway, guys, hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. Please spread this around. People, I've seen hundreds of people play this pack, and they never do this. <laughs> and it's, it's stuff that you can do real easily, and it saves you lots and lots of resources. All right. All right. So, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put them down in the comments down below. I will be doing episodes, no more episodes today, but I'll be doing them tonight, so they might not go up till tomorrow. I had lots of errands to run for the past couple days, and also we had shop, uh, shopping to do today, so uh, I did not get to do them this morning. Uh, but I will get them and get them up. Anyway, guys, see you guys later.